Um, okay, so what we look at are, we're going to look at hemispheres. Okay, so hemisphere. So if we think about the curved surface area, so we'll just abbreviate it, so curved surface area of a hemisphere. So that's going to be the, the curve part of it. It's going to be the, the surface area that's covered by the curve. So if we think about it, it's half of the surface area of a sphere. So therefore, the formula for this, it's going to be 2 pi, 2 pi r squared. Okay, so 2 times pi times r squared. So that's going to be the curved surface area. Then if we want to think about the, the total surface area, so this, the total surface area it's going to be three times pi r squared. Now, if we think about the volume then, so what's volume? So volume. So if we have a look here at this diagram, what we have is we have, so we have a cone and then we have a cylinder. Okay, so, and then inside that, then we have the hemisphere. Now, if we want to work out the volume of the hemisphere that's inside here, and just so we're aware, so let me just, Let's get a shape here. So when we're talking about a hemisphere, this is what we mean. So we have a shape just like this. Okay. So on the underside of it, so that's the circular part. And then the top here then is the curved part as well. So when we get the curved surface area, what we're doing is we're getting the area of the curve, which is there. And then the area of, that's the area. So we're getting the area of the curve just for the curved surface area. And then if we're getting the total surface area, it's the area of the curve, curve, and then also the area of the circle underneath. So now, if we want to take of the, of the volume, so how do we work out what the volume is? Well, what we can do is we can get the volume of, of a cylinder. So if we take a, a, a sphere or a hemisphere just like this, and we put it inside um, a cylinder that's just able to contain it, and then if we have, let's say, a cone or a a cone then let's say that we put inside there as well and it's just able to contain it as well what we can do is using this and this is the way the uh, greeks they actually use this way or this method to prove and figure out to how to figure how to work out the volume that is covered or occupied by or the capacity let's say of a of a, of a hemisphere so what we can do then we can work out from this that the volume of the hemisphere, so the volume of the hemisphere, is going to be equal to the volume of the cylinder minus the volume of the cone. So, okay, so we have our cylinder here and then we have our cone here as well. So, so the, the so, so this is how we work it out. Now what we do, so we have formulas for each of these. So if we remember our formulas, so we have, so the volume then, and I'll just write like this. So volume is going to be equal to pi r squared by height, which is the volume of the cylinder, minus one third pi r squared by height, which is the volume of the cone. So then we can, we can work these out. So this here then is going to be equal to two thirds, two over three, 
pi r squared by height, okay, which is going to be equal to 2 over 3. r squared by radius okay now if we think about like why okay so if we have a look here so we can see here that this so we've height and we have radius here so the height really if you have a look at this so the height so from here to here is going to be equal to the radius the 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 radius for example so if we have the radius going across here but that's our radius then this is going to be our height here so the height and radius are going to be they're going to be the same size but they are in this case when you set it up like this so this this height becomes the radius okay because they're equal they're just interchangeable and then what we can do is we can multiply these by each other and it becomes cubed so this then becomes so it's going to be equal to 2 over 3 pi r cubed. So therefore, the volume then, if we want to work out the volume, so the volume of a hemisphere is going to be equal to 2 thirds 2 over 3 pi r cubed. 2 over 3 pi r cubed. So that's our that's our formula. So these are our three formulas then that we need to know in relation to uh, when we're working with spheres, or sorry, when we're working with hemispheres, should I say. So this is it here. So let's have a look and just work through a particular problem. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so the so what it's asking us for then, so what it says is a hemisphere has a radius of four centimeters. And given your answer correct to one decimal place, please find its curved surface area. So the curved surface area is going to be this formula here. So this one here. So we want to first we want it asks us to find the curved surface area. So curved surface area is going to be equal to two pi r squared, and it tells us that the radius is four centimeters. So r is equal to four. So then we just plug in our data. So it's going to be two times pi times the radius which is 4 to be squared so then we can work this out we can just we can use our calculator so it's going to be 4 by 4 that's this part here just work that out first just following your rules of BIMDAS uh, so it's 16 multiplied by pi multiplied by 2 which is equal to 100 100.53 and what it asks us for is that so give your answer correct to one decimal place so again we correct to one decimal place so this is our decimal so we go one place afterwards it's five we look at the number after that which is three so it's less than five so we just keep it as five so the answer is going to be 100.5 so therefore this is going to be equal to 100.5 um, centimeters squared okay because we're dealing with surface area so the next one then what it asks is for so it one we're looking for its total surface area so again this is this formula here it's total surface area so it's going to be total surface area is equal to 3 pi r squared. So then we just take our, our 
radius and we plug it into our formula. So it's going to be 3 times pi times 4 to be squared. So that's equal to, let's just work this one out as that. Let's cancel. So 4 by 4 is equal to 16 multiplied by pi, which is equal to that, and then multiply by 3, which is equal to, so it's 150.796. And again, it asks us to correct it to to sorry to correct it to one decimal place so it's 150.79 so we see that the first decimal place is the seven the number after it is greater than five which is nine so we round it up so it's going to be 150.8 so it's going to be 150.8 centimeters squared so that's the that's that one the total surface area and then the last one then call this one two and then part three then so part three it asks us for its volume so we're using this formula here so it's going to be two over three times pi r cubed so we plug in our data so it's two over three pi r radius which is four cubed so we can multiply that out uh, okay so it's four cubed which is 64 multiplied by pi which is that multiplied by two thirds i'll just put this in brackets two divided by three so it's equal to 134.0. And again, it asks us to correct it to one decimal place. So the zero was the first decimal place, the number after that's four. So we just keep it as 134.0. So it's gonna be 134.0, 134.0. And this is gonna be cubic centimeters, centimeters cubed, or sorry, yeah. So, so you're gonna have three centimeters to the power of three. Um, so that's those. That's that's how you would work out. So that'd be like a typical question that you could be asked with that. Now you could be asked, you could be given some of the information and you'd need to manipulate the formula to figure out. So you might get asked the back question, for example, but um, it's just important that you know the formulas and then that you can work with and manipulate the formulas. Okay, so that is the surface area volume and total surface area, curved surface area of um, hemispheres. So thank you.